Let's take a second to talk about parallel and perpendicular lines. Okay, so starting off with parallel lines, the definition is that they're going to be in the same plane and they're never going to intersect. So we need two lines that no matter how far we extend, they'll never run into each other. And what we've learned recently is that in order for them to be parallel, they have to have the same slope. And slope is just a fancy word for steepness. So if we're looking at the steepness of the line, for another line to be parallel to it, it would have to have this same steepness. So let's graph another line. My computer is freezing on me, there we go. All right, so this orange line is another line and it's parallel to the red line. I think you can see that no matter how far you extend them, they're never gonna intersect. So those two lines are parallel and we can tell they're parallel because they have the same slope. In each of these cases, you would rise up three spaces and over one. Same thing here, you would rise up three and over one. So you can find the slope by looking at the graph or you can find the slope by looking at the equation. Both of these equations are in slope intercept form, which we, means it's in y equals mx plus b form. And if that's the case, if it's solved for y, then the slope is the coefficient of x. In other words, the slope is the number attached to x. So in both of these lines, their slope is three. Since the slope or the steepness of the line is the same, those lines are parallel. We can look at another example real quick. very slowly, not real quickly. If we had the slope of negative 2x and negative 2x plus 3. Whoa, I don't know what just happened there. Okay. All right, so if we look at these two lines, you can tell that they're parallel. No matter how far you extend them, they're never going to intersect and it's because they have the same slope. Both of them has a slope of negative two. All right, let's talk about perpendicular. We've said in class that for perpendicular lines, they have to meet at a 90 degree angle. And in order to do that, the slope has to be the opposite reciprocal. An opposite reciprocal just means you have to change the sign and flip it. So since the slope here is negative two, if we wanted a perpendicular line, we would have to change that to positive one half. And you can see here that these do meet at a 90 degree angle. I changed the negative to a positive, and then two wasn't a fraction, but if you think about it as two over one, then that makes it easier to flip. So you would flip two over one and you would make it one half. Those are gonna be perpendicular. All right, so we're gonna do one of the questions that was commonly missed on the IA. So this was a question straight from your interim assessment it says find the equation of a line that is parallel to y minus 5x equals 10 and passes through the point 3 comma 10. Okay, first of all, one of the most common mistakes I saw was that students looked at this and they said, oh, my slope is negative five. That is not true. The slope is not negative five because this isn't in slope intercept form yet. Remember, it has to be in y equals mx plus b form before we can pick out that slope as the coefficient of x. So the problem here is that y isn't by itself. Negative 5x is on the same side as y, so we need to get rid of that by doing the inverse operation. We need to add 5x to each side. 10 and 5x are not like terms, so we can't combine them. We would just write them next to each other. And now that it's in slope intercept form, now we can say that the slope is five. And if we want a line parallel to it, it has to have the same slope. Oops, I just froze my computer again. So we know because we want it to be parallel, it has to have the same slope. So this is what I know so far. I know in my new line, I'm gonna change colors here, in my new line, I know it has to go through this point, and I know that its slope, or its m, has to be five. So I'm gonna go ahead and just plug that into my equation with what I know. So my equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. I know the y is 10. I know the m is five. 
I know the x is 3, and I don't know b yet, so that's what I'm going to solve for. So 5 times 3 is 15, and then if I want to get b by itself, I could subtract that from each side. So the b value is going to be negative 5. So to write my final equation in slope-intercept form, it's going to be y equals 5x minus 5. I plugged in the m and I plugged in the b into my final equation. So that's how you would write the equation of a line parallel to the line given that passes through the given point.